All star reserves were announced. Damn, what is that? All star reserves were announced. Um, quite the list. We have Alyssa Thomas, Kelsey Plum, Sabrina Inescu, Courtney Vandersloot, Leisha Gray, Defisa Collier, Landon Deladon, Eddie Mavagor, Dewana Bonner, Kalea Copper, Cheyenne Parker, Kelsey Mitchell. Got a couple first timers on there, which we love to see, obviously. Good job, first timers. Um, I'm a st- I gotta stop talking late, late June, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> My shorty tired of it too. <laughs> but yeah, man, quite quite the list. Um, so yeah, shout out to ones that you know got the nod for the first time. Uh, more notable ones, um, Cheyenne Parker, Kelsey Mitchell. Um, uh, I'm trying to think who else first time. Ezzy. Kelsey. I said Kelsey. Oh, my fault. I thought you said it. Uh, Cheyenne. Oh no, I said Cheyenne, Kelsey, and I said Ezzy. So yeah, this is Alicia's first time. Wow. Good job, Alicia. This is rookie of the year, but this is her first Word. Uh, and Ezzy. I got you. What? I said shout out to Alicia and Ezzy, and I got some words on my book. Word. Uh, but yeah, good list. Um, well deserved, all of them. Any snubs for you? Oh, Ryan Howard. Yeah, that was that was. Hey, hey, she dropped forty three the day after <laughs> this was dropped. This was released. Who tweeted? They was like, if you know Ryan, you know why she went out and did that. I can't remember who tweeted. It was a college player, mm. somebody that played her in college. I can't remember exactly who it was. But they were like, if you know Ryan. You know why she went out and dropped 40. Bro, that 40, dog, I, I went and rewatched it, bro. All right, so look, she had 17 in the first quarter. I was like, oh. That's how you knew early on. It was like, oh, she, woman on a mission. She shot 70% in this game. Shot 43 on 70%, bro. That's insane. What, what were they calling, uh, what were they calling, uh, Devin Booker? What were they calling his buckets during the playoffs? They're calling him like, oh, uh, uh, I can't remember what they were calling it. They're calling him like, it's like blank bucket. It was like, oh no, uh, I know, I know, I know. D book was mad efficient during the playoffs though. I remember you were like what twenty for twenty five one game, mm-hmm. which is insane. You go twenty for freaking twenty five. Me, miss, you missed five shots, not the whole game. That's insane, bro. I think he had like, unfortunately, he had like 40 that game where he made 20 shots, but it was like, that was ridiculous. Doggone. Nah, he should not be naming this. Ethical bucket. bucket. Was it ethical bucket? Ethical. Probably so. I think, I think it was, I think ethical. It was ethical bucket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Shout out to Ryan. Ryan really went off in that game. And what was that Sunday? Uh, Wednesday, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was Sunday. That was Sunday, yeah. And then, oh, what's my call it? I don't know why I froze. <laughs> I was like, camera please? I don't know. Oh, Tanisha, right. Don't know why. <laughs> I drew a blank. Absolutely, who the hell? Atlanta Dream Coach. You had to look it up. This is bad. Anyways, oh, no, Tanisha Wright started off the the uh press conference and was like Ron Howard's an all-star. That's my opening statement. Proceed with y'all questions. Looks like she's taking off. Who are we taking off? Uh, or who who who's taking off? If she takes somebody off, I got to take off one of her other players. Yeah. Cause like I don't know. I saw something and it was like somebody said probably because of the record. And I was like, because see, I don't know. I saw that. I forgot that there was three 
Well, not three. There was two other Atlanta Dream members, team members that were selected. So I was thinking, I was like, oh. And it's like, yeah, their record, they aren't going to get three All-Stars with that record. I was like, oh. Well, I, I would have gone Ryan before I went to Cheyenne, respectfully. Respectfully. And Cheyenne's having a great season. No, 100%. Playing really good basketball. Yeah. 100%. It's having a tremendous I, I think Ryan. I think Ryan and Alicia have been their two best and their two most important players. Oh, by far. I, I so, thought Ryan was a lock, honestly, bro. I thought Ryan was going to start. I thought Ryan was a lock, bro. But I think because fans had split the starting votes between Alicia and Ryan, they mm-hmm. ended up, you know, losing votes in that case. But if, ever, if, if all of them would have been like, okay, we're going to – we're gonna vote in Ryan as a starter. Alicia's gonna get in, or we're gonna invite in. We're gonna vote in Alicia as a starter. Ryan's gonna get in. But yeah. It would have been hard to put two guards as reserves from the same team because you still got you already have Sloop and Sabrina. You got so Chelsea Sloop. Mitchell. Yeah. And then that leaves Ka and Alicia Gray. So it's like, how many guards can we use? And then they how got many, how many guards can we keep? Yeah. That's what, six yards? Yeah. You got Alyssa Thomas, Guadabana, Zeladon, Nafisa. No, that's not six. That's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, that's six. I'm tripping. Count them wrong. Come on, Bryce. Get it together, bro. Lock in. All right. But, yeah. No, nah, so, I mean, I like the Dream. The Dream are a good, nice young squad. Um, you know, they show some fights some, at different points of the season. I feel like. I feel like, you know, a year from now, they'll be in a better position. They'll be a better team, obviously, being that they have more experience, being that they're playing with each other. Uh, they just got a young, lot of young pieces, man. You know, they got Ryan. They got Haley Jones there. I'm really waiting for Haley Jones to blossom. Um, I think Letitia Ami here, like, I think that's a good pick that they had in the draft. And I'm excited to see her, you know. You should play more as well. Actually. I think the South Carolina fans kind of bullied Kelly Durant in the playing there, but she's been playing well. So I can't fault. I mean, you can't say that she hasn't earned the minutes because every time she comes out on the court, she's either scoring, like being aggressive on the offensive end, or she's making plays on the defensive end. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously, you, you want to see our faves play, but same time, it's like they're good enough to play. Yeah, I'll say we as like basketball fans in general, bro. Yeah. I mean, I am a South Carolina fan, but I'm not the ones. No, I'm not even going to go there. Um, <laughs> oh, anyways, but yeah. I think I think there was one more player that got to know that uh, we did not mention. Who do you believe? Ray Jones. I know oh, it would have been hard to get. Yeah, I know it would have been hard to put three for Connecticut, but if you put three for Vegas, no, four for Vegas. Four for Vegas. I got three starters. Four for Vegas and three for New York. You see, Why Bree can't Jones is hurt, get three? Who? Bree Jones is hurt. He got hurt like the night before voting stopped. That, that has nothing to do with. Well, that that's voting. The reserves are chosen by the coaches, aren't they? Yeah, reserves. But that that's don't what mean, I'm saying. Just because she was hurt, don't mean she's not an all star. She played 16 games. She was an all star. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Like at the very least, you just you name her an all star and you replace her. But she deserved to be an all star this year. She's one of the best bigs in the league, easily. I I I agree with that. It's just the fact that I don't know, man. Um, like I mean, Elena Deladon injured good. herself the other night. They they still named her. Uh, yeah, she's still Thomas games. They still named her. Like. It's just that Bree Jones has a season-ending injury, though. Yeah, so you replace her. But she still should have been named the All-Star. Okay. Because whoever whoever, whoever they put in instead of her would have still got in. Yes. They would have just they would have been replaced. But Bree Jones deserved to be an All-Star. Whether it be play. Right. I, see, it be I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Production. Like, she deserved to be an All-Star. And I know people are like, Sure, it's a valid thing. Like, oh, she wouldn't have played. That's not the point. Because y'all have put 
they put Diana Taurasi in there last year, you know, good and well, she won the All-Star. Like, this ain't, this ain't the first time we've seen a player that's injured and get in. Kobe missed the entire season. So it's like, you just replace, you just replace, you just replace. That's Kobe you replace the player that's injured. You replace the player that's injured with the player that was going to get in, that is in now. And everybody gets their stuff. 